Uh-oh, that's the fire alarm. Congratulations, sir. It's a healthy baby boy. I hate to tell you, though, your son has superpowers. What? How could that be? We gotta get out of here and fast. Hey, wait up. Oh my gosh, there's fire everywhere. How am I gonna get out of here? Please, someone, someone help. Wait, what? Huh? What? What's happening? Oh, ah! oh, oh my gosh, my son, he has superpowers. He just saved my life. Haha, <laughs> look at you, you stupid freak. I'm not a freak. Yeah, yeah, you are. You and your stupid superpowers. What, do you think you're special or something, showing them off? Can't really control them. Yeah, well, if you're gonna use them anyway, then I wanna be entertained, all right? Come on, do a trick. No, just leave me alone. Come on, come on, freak, you freak show. Do a trick, you stupid idiot. I'm not a freak. Stop calling me that. Yeah, if you don't do it, I'm gonna tell everyone in school that you're just a liar, all right, Charlie? I just wanna go home. What? <laughs> Nah, you ain't going home until you do the stupid magic trick with your stupid powers. Ugh! They're not stupid! Leave me alone! Ah! Uh-oh. I'm so sorry that this happened, sir. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Keep your kid in line, got it? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm so sorry again. You better be sorry. This city doesn't need another supervillain. Got plenty of them already. But I'm not a supervillain. That's enough out of you, Charlie. Come on. It's time to go home. Listen, Charlie, what you did back there wasn't right. I know, Dad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be, because just because you have powers doesn't give you the right to do those types of things. Yeah, but he started it. He pushed me first. But you shouldn't be stooping down to his level. You're better than that. You need to take control of your powers and take responsibility over your own actions. I'm trying my hardest, Dad. It's just difficult. I don't really know what to do. What was that? I don't know. Uh, I'll check it out. Hey, hey you! Did you just throw something at our house? Yeah, I did, and I'd do it again, too! The city's talking about what your kid did at the park! The whole neighborhood doesn't want you here! No one with superpowers allowed! That's it, I'm calling the police! That's right, you call the police! Have them arrest that freak! Don't worry, Charlie, follow me. I don't want you anywhere around that guy. Dad, he seemed really upset. All because of me. I'm really sorry. Hey, it's fine, all right? Everyone makes mistakes. The only thing that matters is that we learn from them, okay? The only sad thing is, Charlie, we may have to move out now. But keep your head up, okay? It'll be fine, because I'm going to do whatever I can to protect you. I know you will, Dad. And I'll make it right. I'm never going to use my powers ever again. No, I never said to do that. Your powers are a part of you, okay? You can't just give that up. Seems like every time my powers come out, it just causes problems. Yeah, obviously people don't know how to react to them. But the only thing that matters is if you're using them for good. And I know you will. You have a good heart. Now look, I gotta go. I gotta go call the police. Okay, Dad. Oh, I don't want to disappoint my dad. I hate seeing him this upset. I'm gonna take control of these powers. I'm gonna make him proud of me. Please, somebody help me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, alright? Give me your money, dude! Oh no, that guy's in trouble. What should I do? The only thing that matters is if you're using them for good. And I know you will. I'm gonna listen to my dad. Hey, you! What? What do you want? Leave that guy alone. Ah! Oh my gosh, that guy went flying! You just saved me! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna take you to the police. You're going to jail where you belong. So this is him, sir. I saw him. He was trying to hurt some guy and steal from him. He's a criminal. I ain't no criminal, man. This guy saw nothing, all right? I was just trying to enjoy my walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all about you, Hubert. Your face is printed all over the police department. You're going to jail. You did a good job, kid. Thanks, officer. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, Charlie, are you all right? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I actually feel pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. I know. I can't believe I stopped that guy. Yeah, and most importantly, you use those powers for good. My son, a hero. I've got you right where I want you. Oh, dude, you actually just got me. I can't believe you just won that. I have to say, it's kind of nice doing something normal for once. Yeah, I mean, it's been ages since we hung out, dude. This just in, breaking news. There's a disaster taking place downtown. There's a building in the city and it's about to fall. Apparently there was some kind of explosion and it's about to collapse and there are people trapped inside. Authorities aren't able to get them out. Will anybody save these people? Sorry, man. Uh, I'll be back later. Charlie, Charlie, there you are. The building is about to fall apart. Please, please, someone help me. Is that my dad? What's he doing here? Oh, no, no. Dad, no. I'm so sorry, dad. I should have been here to save you. I promise. No matter what happens, I'm going to protect people. 
now on, I'm really gonna be a hero. Hello? Charlie, I want to come and check up on you. How are you holding up? I mean, it's been a couple weeks now. I just really miss my dad. I know, and I'm really sorry, but I actually came here to give you some bad news. Because your parents are both gone, the house belongs to the city now. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? I'm really sorry, Charlie. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm here to give you a couple minutes to get your things, and then I have to ask you to leave. Please, this house is all I have left of my family. I'm really sorry, Charlie. There's nothing I can do. Hey, Dad. It's just me, Charlie. I just lost the house. There's no way I was going to be able to afford it, and the city took it from us. I'm really sorry. I feel like I let you down, and I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. But I promise you, from now on, I'm not going to let anything like that ever happen again. I'm going to be the hero that you always told me to be, and I will make you proud. You'll see, Dad. Change? Please, does anybody have any spare change? Oh, excuse me, sir. What do you want? I'm just really, really hungry, and I'm homeless. Is there any way you could spare some change? No, I'm not gonna give you any of my money. Just go get a job, you bum. Trust me, sir, I, I do have a job. Yeah, what is it, bugging people around the city? Get lost, freak. Hey, I'm not a freak. Man, that guy was a jerk. I do have a job. This is my job. All right. Time to go on watch. Help! Help! Somebody please help! Get up, lady! I'm gonna steal your car, dude! Stop! Please! Can somebody please help me? Leave this lady alone! Ah, oh, no. Not you again. You know what? Don't make me, all right? I'm not gonna let you stop me again. I'm warning you, Hubert. This isn't gonna feel good. Yeah, what do you mean it's not gonna feel good? <laughs> this guy's a blast! Man, will that guy ever learn? Oh, oh my gosh, wait, you're a superhero. Um, oh, y yes, that's right, ma'am. I am a superhero. Thank you so much. You really saved me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem at all. Just part of the job. Well, is there anything I can do to thank you? Maybe take you out for dinner or something like that? That actually would be great. Thank you. I'm Charlie, by the way. What's your name? It's nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm Melissa. Dad! Paul, what's gotten you so excited? I got into the spelling bee! If, if I win, I'm gonna get some really cool stuff! That's incredible! And you're the smartest kid in your school! <laughs> You'll definitely win! Dad, you're gonna be there, right? I mean, this is a really huge deal! Of course I'm gonna be there! I wouldn't miss it for the world! Where is he at? He should have been here like 10 minutes ago! Dad, where are you? Take this, you overgrown gecko! Yeah! Um, Paul, what are you doing out here? I'm waiting for my dad. He should be here any moment now. The spelling bee is about to start, and if you're not in there, you're gonna be disqualified. I don't know. I don't want to do this without him seeing. Maybe he's on his way, and he's just gonna show up later. Listen, do you want to compete in the spelling bee or not? Yeah, I do. You're right. Let's go. Paul? Paul! Oh, there you are. Listen, I'm so, so sorry I missed the spelling bee. Are you, Dad? Are you really? Of course I'm sorry. I got a last minute call. The city was under attack by some huge lizard. I had to defeat him. People were in danger. Yeah, but you promised, Dad. You promised you'd be there. I know, Paul. I did. And uh, I'm really sorry I missed it, okay? How, how did it go? Look, I did this. I won. It's the first thing I ever won. And you weren't there to see it. That's incredible. I always knew you'd do it. You're so smart, but... Why aren't you excited about winning? I want you to be there to see it. I want my own dad to be there. I promise you, I was on the way to the school when I got that phone call. It doesn't matter anywhere, all right? You already missed it. What's done is done, Dad. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Paul, please. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I really broke his heart. I need to do better. I'm Paul's father. I'm gonna be there for him. Hello? Charlie, we have an emergency. We need you right now. But my son, he needs me right now too. It's really bad down here, Charlie. There's some kind of other creature here. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. 
so glad to see you, Dad. I mean, we haven't had lunch in a while now. I know. I've been, uh, pretty busy with work, but I took some time off. I mean, your wedding is coming up soon. Yeah, I know. So many things are going well in my life. I mean, my artwork, it's in a professional exhibit for crying out loud. Like, everything's going great. You're such a talented artist. You've got to show me your work. Why don't we go now? No. No, Dad, it's okay. I mean, knowing you, you, you probably have more important stuff to do anyway, right? Do I have a lot of responsibilities? Absolutely. But there's nothing more important to me than you. You are my son. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, I was just gonna head over there anyway, so let's go. Perfect, I can't wait to see it. Paul, you are an absolute genius. I am so proud of you, son. There he is, the infamous superhero of the city, Charlie. I have a few questions for you. Why don't you want to be a superhero anymore? What? What are you What are you talking about? Well, while you were spending the day with your son, a ship sank off the coast and everything was lost. What? No. That's right. You probably could have flown under that ship and pulled it out of the water. Hey, knock it off. It's not my dad's fault, all right? You shouldn't have to be there to fix every little thing. That's what a superhero is being about, kid. What's wrong with you? You need to see some stupid exhibit at the museum? Hey, don't talk to Mike's son like that. I'm just very disappointed in you, Charlie. And so is the rest of the city. Paul, I have to say this is the most beautiful wedding venue I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I mean, it was really nice that you helped me pick it out. And Tammy seems like such a sweet girl. You know, I can't tell you enough how proud I am of you, Paul. Thanks, Dad. I'm just glad you're able to be here for this day. No, you've got to be kidding me. Hello? Charlie, you're needed downtown ASAP. I can't. It's my son's wedding. There are people's lives in danger, Charlie. Are you just going to leave them? I'm, uh, uh... Just, just go, Dad. But I might miss your wedding. It's okay. Just go. I'll be right back as quick as I can. I promise. Paul? Paul, are you still here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Man, I am so, so sorry. There was a runaway bus. And there were people in danger. I had to save it. Did you save everyone, Dad? I did. And that's all that matters. But Paul, I missed your wedding. This is the biggest day of your life. Hey, sometimes it happens. I mean, yeah, it was my wedding day, but if it meant saving people's lives, I think it's pretty selfish of me to want you here when you needed to be out there. So you don't hate me? You're not upset? No, and I'm sorry. I mean, I think I've just been really rude and selfish over the years, but, but I get it. Oh, Paul, there you are. Man, you're looking bigger every time I see you. Yeah, I'm just so happy. We're going to be able to be together and celebrate your 100th birthday. I uh, know, 100 years. Man, I'm getting old. No, you're not, Dad. You look like you're still 20. Ah! Help! Seems like something's going on. Yeah, and I think you need to go. Thank you, son. You! Stop right there! I have this explosive, and I'm going to punish the entire city and take it over! Everything will be mine! Maybe we can talk this out peacefully, son. You don't want to do anything rash. You're the one that has the rash, old man, from sitting in your chair all day and watching your story. <laughs> I've defended this city for years, and I'm not gonna let some punk destroy it! Oh, really? Well then try and stop this. <laughs> oh no, the countdown! It's too short! I better keep flying! We're here today to pay respects to a fallen hero. Charlie was the hero that this city needed. He was the best of us, the best this city had to offer, and we must live on in his memory. I used to complain about my dad. I was selfish. All the time, he missed things in my life, and I just wanted him there. But I found out later down the line that he wasn't selfish. He was doing the most selfless thing a man could do, and that was to be there for others. He was a hero. He was my hero. There will be no one else like him. Hello, citizens of my new city. <laughs> I'm not gonna let some dumb old superhero ruin my plan this time. You! You're the one that my dad was fighting that night! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! Oh! What was that? You know, Paul, maybe this city has another hero after all. You guys can't be serious. Are you really kicking me out? Just because I'm a superhero? Yeah, we are. Now get lost. 
Why, why are you guys doing this? You're my family. Yes, and your family has had enough of your superhero antics. That's right. Now get on out of here. I thought you guys loved me. I'm your son. And you disappointed and betrayed us. How do you think that makes us feel? Levi, you are just so selfish. I can't deal with it anymore. M mom, mom, where are you going? Can you just please talk to me? I can't do this anymore. You're not the same. You are not my son. Levi, uh, what do you want, little bro? Hey, uh, did you hear what mom and dad did? Kick you out of the house? Yeah, I did. Look, I mean, I I'm homeless now. I, I was wondering if I can get, like, a job here or something. Here at the coffee shop? Yeah, right. No way. I'm with mom and dad, Levi. You just need to move on and accept it. I don't know if I can. I mean, a week ago, we were all just one happy family, and then all of a sudden, you guys find out, and, and everything's changed. Yeah, because you're a freak running around calling yourself a superhero. Look, I, I don't care about any of that. I just want to do what's right to everyone around me. Hey, man, is this guy causing you some trouble? Yeah, he just won't leave me alone. All right, dude, hey, you gotta get out of here, all right? I'm gonna call security on you. You're disturbing our customers, Levi. Just go. Yeah, I'm not afraid to fight you, dude. All right, fine, fine, calm down. I'll go. Uh, oh, hey, Sam. Hey, dude, what are you doing around this part of the city? Oh, uh, you know, just catching up with family. Oh, yeah. I heard about everything that happened with you and your parents. I was gonna go in the coffee shop, but I saw you and Henry, like, screaming at each other, so... Yeah, I'm just really stressed. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm gonna be homeless now. Dude, you're not gonna be homeless, alright? Why don't you just stay with me? I'm not gonna have my best friend just living on the streets. Thank you, Sam. I really appreciate it. At least I got you on my side. Hey, Grandpa! Uh, hello, Sam. This is Levi, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice to meet you, sir. I really appreciate you letting me stay here. Please, not a problem at all. You're more than welcome to stay here. We have a spare room. Come on, Grandpa, let's show him. All right, this way. It's not much, but I think it'll do. This is more than enough. I really appreciate it again. Of course. Sam taught me about your parents. They shouldn't have done that to you, boy. All because you're a superhero? Suddenly their feelings and love for you just change and vanish? It's just weird. All I know is that they're really selfish, and when I'm not prioritizing their time, that's when it gets to them. Parents should not be like that. They are supposed to love you. No matter what, I would never turn my back on Sam or any of my other grandchildren. Levi, you should be proud. You're a superhero, man. It's actually really cool. Yeah, you're right. All right, now you boys settle in. I'm gonna go make myself a tea and go to bed. All right, Grandpa. Good night. Well, while Grandpa goes and naps, we'll get dinner started or something. You want to join us? I, I think I'll pass tonight. Thanks, though. I, I got a lot on my mind. Henry, why aren't you eating your food? Your mother worked hard on this dinner tonight. I just keep looking over there and looking where Levi used to sit. Are we doing the right thing? <laughs> what a stupid question. Of course we are. It's obvious that all along Levi only cared about himself. He didn't care about us. Think about all the times he was late for dinner and didn't show up to birthday parties and other family occasions. I mean, he was late to Christmas. How is that possible? Yeah, I know. You got a point. It's like, what? He thinks he's better than us or something? <laughs> See? Look at what he's done to your mother. Her heart is completely broken, and he doesn't care. He's not here helping his family. I don't know. It just feels weird, I guess. Just feel like Levi should be here. Listen, I don't want to talk about Levi anymore. I just want to enjoy my dinner. And if you question me and your mother, you'll be fast on the street just like your brother. Henry, I know I tried before, but I need to talk. Please, please, just, just talk to me, okay? I really want to know what's going on. No, you shouldn't be here. And I think we've made it pretty clear. Mom, Dad, and I want nothing to do with you. But why? I, I just want to know why. Ever since we found out you were a superhero, everything started to make sense. No wonder why you're never around. When was the last time you and I actually hung out, huh? It's been years. I miss my old brother and who he used to be. Some people are just in need. Some people seriously need my help, and if I'm not there, then... Then what? There's plenty of other superheroes out there. Why does it have to be you? I'm sorry, okay? I didn't know all this until now. I'm just asking you. Please just give me another chance. Fine. I'll give you another chance. Meet me here at, like, 8 o'clock. Alright, just on time. What's going on? Whatever it is, uh, the police, uh, I'm sure they can handle it. I need to keep my promise to them. 
hey, Henry. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda surprised you actually showed up. Yeah, uh, of course I would, man. I, I made a promise to you. Good evening, Roblox. There has been an awful tragedy tonight in the city. Terrible criminals escaping the police, leaving behind multiple injured citizens. Wait, what? Our city has been protected by great superheroes for years. And where were they now? I can't believe this. This is all my fault. What? What's your fault? I, I saw everything. I, I saw the police drive by me and chose to be here. I I'm sorry, Henry. I, I, I really wanted to be here, but I have to make sure they're all right. All right. Fine. I I'm sorry, man. I I'm sorry. Whoa. Just because Levi wasn't there, those people got hurt? I guess my brother is really important. Levi, I figured I'd find you here. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure all those people were okay. What happened? I was being selfish. I saw this. I saw this crime. It was starting, and instead, I, I decided to go to my brother. I just don't understand why all this is happening to me. Listen, dude, you can't just keep beating yourself up, okay? You're a hero, and you need to decide. Is being a superhero important to you, or are you just going to give it up and be normal so that you can have your family? All I know is I don't want to make that choice. I want to have them both. Maybe you can't have both. I mean, look at what happened tonight. You have these great powers, and you need to use them for good. If your family can't see that, then... Then it shouldn't matter. You're right, Sam. I think I just need to focus on being a hero. That's what the city needs. I really wish I could have both and, and have them in my life, but it's obvious that uh, I don't have that choice. I think it's time for me to say my final goodbyes. They seriously threw all my stuff away too? They really don't care, do they? All right, let's get this over with. Hello? How can I... Ugh. What are you doing here? I just wanted to come by and say goodbye to all you guys. Goodbye to us? Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, bye. Don't come back. Yeah, you really don't care, do you? No. No, you know what? All I've done is just try and to prove myself that I'm good enough to be part of this family. And if you guys can't see that, then, then that's your loss. What is going on here? <gasps> Levi! Oh, Levi just came by to say his... Goodbyes. I really wish I could have my life with you guys, but you guys are the ones that are being selfish. I miss the way you were before your powers. Look at you. Look what you've become. I'm still the boy that you raised, but if you can't accept me, then that's your problem. Uh, oh, uh, hey. Hey, uh, what's up, little bro? Look, uh, about the other night, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I just kind of ran out and... Hey, listen. You don't need to apologize, okay? I realize that you're just doing your best, okay? You've got a lot of responsibility going on between me, mom, and dad, and, you know, the superhero stuff. I don't know if I can have both, Henry. I mean, you guys want me around all the time, and uh, I don't know if I can give that to you. I'm sorry about everything, okay? Maybe I was just a little jealous of you, you know? You get to be a hero and change people's lives. I mean, how cool is that? And I know you just said that you can't have both, but I want you to try. If you miss something, or you've got to go run off and save the day, I'm not going to blame you for it. You have no idea how happy I am to hear that. I really appreciate it, Henry. Now we just got to get Mom and Dad to see straight. You should be home with us. That's where you belong. See, I have other things to do. I can't be worrying about this. And if they don't want to see that I'm still their son, then that's on them. We'll deal with that later. For now, you need to go be a hero. I got to talk to my parents. I gotta make them see the truth. Mom, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, we're just packing up and leaving the city. If Levi's gonna stick around and be such a hero, we're gonna get out of here. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. Now go pack your things. We're going. No, no, I'm not going with you. I'm not just gonna abandon Levi like that. Well, you'll be homeless on the streets, just like your brother. I have my whole life here. My friends, my job, and my brother. I'm not going anywhere. All right, fine. If you're going to be such a stick in the mud here, this is where your mother and I are going. If you want to join us, feel free. Let's go. You guys are really leaving, aren't you? We'll see you soon, Henry. Leave this family alone. <laughs> are you guys all right? Thank you so much for saving me and my family. They're the most important thing to me. I'm not going to cry. No, it's okay. You don't have to. Uh, you you're safe now. I'm just glad your family's all in one piece. Oh, uh, sorry, I have to take this. I'm glad you're safe. Henry, what's going on? 
Levi, Levi, something's happened. Mom and dad, they're, they got into a car crash. What? Are they okay? No, no, they're stuck in, I can't get them out. We're just outside the city. Please, you've got to hurry. Just hang on. Henry, what's going on? Mom and dad are stuck in the car. I can't seem to get the door open. I'm not strong enough. Okay, okay, fine. I I'll get them out. Just, just step aside. Okay, here we go. C come on, mom, mom, get out. Ah, you saved us. Here, come on, dad, Jeff, follow my lead. Let's go. Uh, oh, Levi? Oh, I can't believe we crashed. Levi, we... We would have been goners without you. It, it just happened so fast. It, it was scary. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Levi, you got here just in time. Yeah, uh, I'm just glad you guys are okay. I've gotta say, Levi, I can understand now why people call you a hero. It's time I make this decision. No, wait, stop! What are you doing? I'm sorry, Tom. I can't do this. I have to quit being a superhero. What? You can't just give up. You're the electric arrow. Noah, think again about this. The city needs you. I need you. My family needs me, Tom. And I think it's time that I start thinking about them. Seriously, Noah? Again? I'm sorry, Dad. I know I'm constantly disappointing you guys. I have to go. Dad, seriously? We need you here. I can't explain it right now, but I, I, I gotta go, guys. I'm so sorry. Whatever. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Look, whatever you're gonna tell me, Tom, I'm, I'm sorry. I've already made up my mind. Why don't you just tell your family that you're a superhero? They'll understand. I don't think they will. I mean, half the city doesn't like me as it is. When they find out, I don't even want to think about how they're gonna react. Listen, this city needs you, okay? I know. Defending the city is important. But I feel like I'm constantly letting everyone who's close to me down. I haven't even been able to have my own life because of this. You're part of the police. I know you guys can handle it. Yeah, sure, but we don't have superpowers. We can't do the things that you can. I have to do the right thing here, and I think quitting is the right choice. Hey guys, I'm home. Noah? Dad, what are you doing here? I brought takeout food with me. I thought I can bring home dinner. Yeah, well, Grandpa and I are already making dinner. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but... Lucas got into college. I know. I want to be here. I want to celebrate with you guys. Yeah, whatever. It's just college, Dad. It's not a big deal. What are you even doing here? You always work super late at night. Well, I decided to take some time off of work. I want to be here for you. Yeah, okay, sure. Believe it when I see it. Seriously? L Lucas, where are you going? I mean, are you really all that surprised? You've barely been around these past years, Noah. There's good reasoning for it. What would take you so far away from your son that you'd miss all the important things? You missed your opportunity to be a father a long time ago, Noah. And you dumped all the responsibility of raising your son on me. I can see that the situation's kind of scaling and I don't want to fight. Just please, let's talk about this. Honestly, you probably shouldn't even be here. Why don't you go back to work? Ego, man, here's your espresso. I'm just wondering, though, when you drink coffee, does it make you run faster? I mean, you already got super speed. No, no, it doesn't. Thanks for the coffee, Tom. Come on, that was a funny joke, huh? Just trying to cheer you up, man. You seem so down. Yeah, I do feel down. My family, they don't want to talk to me. They don't even want to be anywhere near me. Listen, why don't you come over to my place for the weekend, okay? I'm having a big family cookout. It'll help you get your mind off of things. You're right. Thanks for offering that. I really appreciate it. Tom, he completely just dropped all the burgers that night. It was insane. <laughs> hey, Dad, can you come and play with me? I just got this brand new video game. Oh, Milo, I'm sorry. I gotta watch the grill, but why don't you ask your uncle if he wants to play video games with you? Oh, uh, Uncle Henry, uh, do you want to play with me? Yeah, of course. Let's go, kiddo. Hey, uh, Tom, I just... Seriously, I want to thank you again for bringing me here. I mean, being around this healthy environment, it's just, it's been nice. Yeah, of course, man. It's fun having you here. Yeah, man. I mean, your son, he, he's turning out to be such a great kid. Hey, thanks, man. You know, Lucas is a great kid, too. You should be proud of him. Don't get me wrong. I am. You know, I know things have been tough with you and Lucas and your dad, but things will turn around. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah. You're right. Right now, I just need to focus on being there when they need me to be, and I'm sure they'll see it. All right, first step of making up for it, surprising my son. Early birthday party. I hope he'll like it.
Surprise, Lucas, uh, I threw this for you. Happy birthday. Um, my birthday is not until next week. Yeah, I know that. I just wanted to surprise you. I thought throwing an early birthday celebration would be nice. Yeah, Dad, it's kind of nice, but I can see what you're doing. You've missed so many of my birthdays. Why do you care about this now? Look, th there's reasons, Lucas. There's things that I just can't explain. I promise that I'm, I'm putting in the effort now. I want to try. I'm just asking if you can try too. I think it's a little too late, Dad. Why don't you take all this stuff back to the store? No, Lucas, oh, come on. Uh, don't beat yourself up over this. I'll go talk to the kid. Hey, Lucas, I gotta talk to you. You need to give your father a chance. I gave him so many chances before and he blew them all. Your father's a human, just like everybody else. He makes mistakes, but he's trying, and that's a whole lot more than what a lot of kids out there have. He deserves a second chance. I guess you're right. I'll give him another chance. Hey, so what movie do you want to see again? Attack of the Garbage Men from Outer Space 3. Return to Trashtopia. Interesting choice. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm just excited to finally be spending some time with you. Yeah, me too. And this is my favorite movie trilogy ever. You're really gonna love it. Someone please help! There's a fire! Please! Uh, Dad, where are you going? I, um, uh, um... There's someone inside! The building's burning down! We gotta go, we're gonna be late for the movie. I'm sorry, Lucas. I'm, I'm sorry to let you down, but work's calling. I'll be back in just a second, all right? Uh, I promise. Wait, what? Uh, it's already burnt down? Oh no, I was too late. I gotta make it back to Lucas. I gotta make sure he's all right. Lucas? L Lucas? Oh man, why can't I just get any of these things right? I'm trying my best. Lucas? Lucas, come on, answer me, please, just, just talk, I can explain. Just go away, Dad. It was stupid of me to think I could trust you. Why can't I just tell him the truth? Why can't I just, just tell him that I was a superhero? I can't, that's not fair of me. Who's that? Oh, hey, Tom. The big fire in the city, where were you? Please tell me that everyone got out okay. Everybody got out fine. Except for one person. My brother, Henry. He got stuck inside, and now he's in a coma. Tom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. You're not sorry at all. If you were sorry, you would have been there. The electric arrow would have saved him. You could have stopped that fire, but you chose not to. You're the most selfish person I've ever met in my life, Noah. Tom, I promise I am trying. I tried. I tried to save him. I don't want to see you anymore, Noah. I want nothing to do with you. And I'm never going to forgive you for what you did, which was nothing. Hey, Henry. I know you're in a coma, but sorry that I wasn't there in time. I, I really did try. I just... This life, it's its tough. I feel like every time I try to make the right decision, it just doesn't go my way. And this time, it, it almost costed a life. I didn't know this is what I signed up for. I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulders, and I just don't know what to do with it. Uh, excuse me, can I help you with something? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I... I'm a friend of Tom's. I just wanted to check up on him. Oh, you're a friend of my uncle's? Oh, cool. I'm Brian. I'm Henry's son. Oh, uh, I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. How, how are you holding up? Trying my best to stay positive, you know? Plus, it helps knowing that my dad did it for a good reason, you know? Good reason? What do you mean by that? My uncle didn't tell you? My dad ran into that building to save someone inside. They got out. He just got stuck. But what he did was the right thing to do. And obviously, I understand that, and I don't blame him for it. Your dad really is a hero. I hope you're proud of him. Thank you. You have no idea how much I needed to hear this. Yeah, sure, of course. I'm gonna go grab a snack or something. Thanks for stopping by and seeing my dad. I know what I have to do. I have to try, and I hope that they're gonna understand. Grandpa, why did you bring me here? Well, with all the commotion going on over your birthday and stuff, I figured I'd come buy you a new laptop or something. What, really? Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Grandpa. I'll buy you this laptop under one condition. You give your father another chance. Your dad loves you, Lucas. He wants the best for you. Fine. I'll think about it, okay? Attention, royal customers, all right? Put your hands up. This is a stick-up, buddy. Yeah, everybody give us your money, and I want a new iPhone! Lucas, what are you doing? I'm getting evidence for the police. Hey, 
Hey, what are you doing over there, huh? You trying to film us? You're gonna make us a special feature in a Shane Plays video? Stay away from my grandson. Just leave us alone. Boss, he's probably gonna put this on YouTube. We might be famous. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. That's a good one. Well, start rolling then. I got something special brewing up. Guys, I'm home. I have something I need to tell you. Dad? Lucas? Where are they at? Good evening, Roblox. Tragedy is striking in the center of town tonight. Two criminals have held the entire electronic store hostage. We have some scary on-the-scene footage from one of the victims right now. As you can see, the thugs are just completely clobbering on this poor innocent victim. Dad? No! I have to go save them now! Leave my grandpa alone, you monsters! Ah, uh, Mr. Loudmouth over here, huh? You're gonna be next if you keep talking. Leave my family alone. Ah! Oh, God, it's a superhero. Ah, I'm out of here, dude. I didn't sign up for this. Hey, wait. Don't go without me, boss. Are you all right, Dad? Dad, wait a second. Noah? Yeah, it's me. Dad, you're the electric arrow? I'm sorry. I know it's a lot. I'm sorry I lied. I did it to keep you guys safe. Well, it makes sense. Half the city hates you. Yep, that's... Part of the gig about being a hero, right? How are you guys feeling? Are, are you all right? Am I all right? Are you serious? No, I'm not all right. You've been lying to me and Grandpa this whole time. I need some time alone. Of course, I knew this was gonna happen. How are you feeling? Nah, yeah, I'm all right. Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. You're out there saving lives. How could I not be proud? Wow, thanks, Dad. Are you sure you're feeling fine? You don't look so well. Yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just need a... I just need a... Dad, Dad, just stay with me. Look, we need to get you to a hospital. Uh, there's no point in wasting your time. I need you to listen to me, okay? Everything that you used to do, all those late night work projects and stuff, makes sense to me now. You were out being a hero, weren't you? Yeah, I didn't know how to balance everything out. I, I didn't know me being gone so much was going to hurt you guys. I thought you guys would hate me. Noah, I am your father. I could never hate you. And Lucas is your son. He could never hate you too. Just just stay with me, okay, Dad? I promise I'll make everything all right. Just, just please, just stay with me. I'm proud of you, son. You're out there saving lives. You're doing your best. Dad, what am I going to do without you? You're going to go be a hero. I'm going to make you proud, huh? I promise. Hey, are you doing all right? Not now, Dad. I don't feel like talking. Lucas, I just want to be here for you, okay? This stays tough. You want to talk so bad? Fine. I miss Grandpa, okay? And I'm hurt that you would lie to us about the whole superhero thing, Dad. I wanted to keep you guys safe, and I had a feeling that you guys would hate me for it. I'm going to make a lot of enemies out there. And the more people that know, the more lives that are in jeopardy, especially yours. And yours is the most important to me. I'm just so sorry. I know you are, Dad. I'm sorry too, okay? Come on, follow me. You wanted me to be a hero, son, but I can't make that decision without talking to you first. And I promise going forward, I'll talk to you about everything. No more hiding things. This city, I think it needs you almost more than I do right now. You were given your superpowers for a reason, and I know I'm proud of you, and I'm proud to be your son. It looks like someone needs you right now, Dad. You need to go be a hero. Put your hands up, buddy, all right? Hey, that's my line. Put your hands up and drop the guns, you criminals. You're all over the news. There's nowhere for you to run. Boss, see, I told you we were going to be famous. Shut up, Kevin. Ha! My leg! Oh, my God! Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I was outnumbered there for a second, but I'm fine. So what's this, huh? Electric Arrow is actually back now? Yeah, I am. And I don't expect you to forgive me right away or, or at all. And I fully accept that. But I'm sorry about your brother. And I'm sorry that I went away for a while. But I'm back. And I promise that I'm never going to leave again. Help! Help! Someone save me! Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Who are you? I'm Hopewing. I'm here to save you. No, just leave me alone. I'm waiting for the fire department. This is their jurisdiction. 
Yeah, but I'm a superhero. I can just fly you out of here. This building is burning down. Please come with me. Why don't you just let the real heroes do their job? What? I'm, I'm offering to save your life. Well, I don't want you to. Just let the fire department handle it. Go. Hey, what's going on? This building's burning down. Help, help. That superhero trying to kidnap me. What? No, I'm just trying to save you. Hey, ma'am, back away. Oh, I'm out of here. Our viewers at Channel 7 News, we have an exclusive interview with the mayor. Mayor, how are you doing today? Well, Cindy, I'm not doing well. We heard that there was a fire going on in an apartment building. Do you care to speak about that? Yes, of course. These superheroes are becoming a huge problem. Do you think that a superhero caused today's issue? Without a doubt, Cindy. In fact, I think a specific superhero caused today's fire. And who would that be? Well, that would be Hopewing. Hopewing was found on the scene of the crime and without a doubt caused the fire himself. What? That's a complete lie. And this is the fifth reported incident that Hopewing has been at the scene of the crime. That's correct, yes. This is becoming a huge problem, and if we don't do something about it, these superheroes could take control of the city and take everyone down with it. I just don't understand why people hate me so much. All I want to do is save this town. I have these powers, and I need to use them for good. What is going on outside? There's that idiot Hopewing! Boo! Get out of town, you loser! Nobody wants you here. Superheroes are stupid. So really, this is what it's come down to now? You just want me to go away? Well, fine. You'll never see me again. Great job with the building on fire. That was genius. We were all over the news, did you see? Yes, I saw. Excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, it was a great job, but I think we need something even crazier to happen so people can rely on me to fix it. I've definitely been getting a lot of attention, but I need something even more. I need the whole town to pay attention to me. Oh, so now you're telling me what to do. No, no, of course not. I'm just saying that we could step it up a bit, you know? Do not worry. My plan is in motion and everything is going perfectly. Yes, I just want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth. Do not worry, my friend. You will get what you pay for. In fact, I have new plan that is in place. You should have new problem to fix in about five minutes. Enjoy. Mr. Bear, the West Street Bridge is collapsing. What? Yeah, we're getting reports that it just completely collapsed. It like blew up or something. Don't worry, I'll get this handled. Oh man, I forgot how cold it is up here. I hate to do this, but I really don't have a choice. I can't stay in town, not with people acting like that. It's gonna take a long time, but I have to prove myself to the people of the town. That way they can trust me again. And being here just brings back a lot of memories. Back when we were real heroes. Thank goodness we were able to save that bus full of children. I know, it was about to fall off that bridge. We were there just in time. Oh no, someone else needs our help. All right, let's go. Oh no, I forgot about these. I've got to get out of here before the base caves in. Oh, whew, that was so close. Maybe this is a sign. The old days are gone. I think I should just give up being a hero forever. The world doesn't need superheroes anymore. Citizens of this city, I pledge to you today that I will save this town the way it's supposed to be. The old fashioned way, with firefighters and police officers and me, your mayor, protecting you the way that it should be. Not with these freaks calling themselves superheroes getting in the way. We'll rid the town of these superheroes. And I, as your mayor, will return this town to the way it used to be. Anyone who is seen looking like a superhero or a villain in any way will be arrested immediately. They shouldn't be allowed to roam these streets. So I urge every superhero 
to turn themselves in or face my wrath. Oh, well then arrest me, Mayor. <laughs> what are you doing here? This isn't part of the plan. Well, it's part of my plan. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. I had to throw away my costume. I, I just couldn't look at it anymore. The good days of when superheroes were going around saving the world are completely done. I guess it's best that I fly under the radar for now. No, stay away! Somebody help me! Oh no, someone's in trouble. No, go away! Where's my mom? Just give me all your money! Ugh. Are you okay? Whoa, thanks! Yeah, of course, no problem. Wait, aren't you Hopewing? I, uh, just don't know what you're talking about. You're definitely Hopewing. Oh, you're the coolest superhero ever. I even made an action figure of you made out of clay. What, really? I thought people didn't like superheroes anymore. Well, I do, and I hope you always stay a superhero forever. That's really sweet, kid, but I don't know. I don't think everyone else is thinking that way right now. Come on, you're the best superhero ever. Don't listen to what other people say. Listen to yourself. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, my mom is making chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna go. Bye! Oh my gosh, Brent! Is that you? Kyle? No way, man. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing alright, man. It's good to see you again. I haven't really seen you since, uh, you know, we put an end to the team. Yeah, man. It's been a while. Things have really changed since then. Considering everybody now hates us for who we are, no one really appreciates heroes anymore. Yeah, I know. Saving people has become a lot harder since everyone basically turned on us. Yeah, things have certainly changed. But I saved this kid earlier today. He was getting robbed, and I couldn't help but think I was doing the right thing, you know? No, I know exactly what you mean. I'm actually going out tonight to stop a crime that I've been investigating if you wanted to tag along, you know? Just like old times. Wait, really? I thought you quit being Snow Arrow. I did for a bit, but then I started to miss the old days. So I've just been laying low. But I could really use Hopewing's help on this one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can always count on me, dude. I'm ready to get back into action. Great. I knew you were the hero I could count on. Snow Arrow, I don't see anybody. What are we doing here? They should be here any minute. Just wait. Mm, I don't know. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Ow! Snow Arrow, what, what are you doing? I'm going to turn you in. That's what I'm doing. What? What are you talking about? All heroes are villains. And I'll stop all of them. Snow Arrow, what is wrong with you? Don't you hear what you're saying? Of course I hear what I'm saying. I mean, look at you. Running around, setting a fire to that building? It's gotten out of control, and someone needed to do something about it. Snow Arrow, that wasn't me. I wouldn't do that. You know me. I'm your friend. I don't know what to believe anymore. Everything's different now, and I needed to step in and do what I think is right. You need to stop doing this. We're good friends. We were good friends, but that's all over now. Everything is different now. I'm going to turn you in. Oh. I'm sorry, Snow Arrow. I, I had to do this. Kyle? Uh, Kyle, stop! Cindy, what are you doing here? Can I get an interview with you? You know, Hopewing. Really? You want to interview your ex-boyfriend? I thought you said you never wanted to talk to me again. <laughs> Look, this is just an interview. Strictly professional, all right? Go ahead and smile and the camera's gonna turn on in three, two, one. Hello, Channel 7! I am here with an exclusive interview with Hopewing! So, Hopewing, what are your opinions on the reaches and controversies around superheroes? Well, Cindy, I'm... I don't really understand it, to be honest. Hey! It's you! That Hopewing person! Oh, you're absolutely horrible! What? What are you talking about? When my building was on fire just a week ago, this guy left me there. 
What? No! I went in to save you, and you told me to leave you alone. Ugh. All superheroes are the same. You're always right. Is this true, Hope Wing? Did you really leave a poor citizen on the roof by yourself while it was burning? No, absolutely not. I would never do that. You heard it here first, folks. Hope Wing left a girl on the rooftop with the fire going. He's a villain, I tell you. He's the worst superhero ever. No, I, this is not how this was supposed to be. Cindy, why would you do this to me? Sorry, kid. This is all for the story. I can't believe you would hurt me like this. Well, I guess I could hide here for a while. Oh, man, this place is a mess. That angry crowd must have broken in and destroyed my home. I can't believe people are so mean enough to do something like this. Especially to somebody that wants nothing to do than save them. I feel like a complete loser now. Like, I have nothing. Hope Wing used to be my purpose, my way to keep going, and now I just feel useless. A breaking discovery. The mayor has just issued a lifted ban on villains roaming the city. What? What is going on? Citizens of this beautiful city, villains are needed to prove that humans are strong and that we don't need superheroes to stop them. We were strong before them and we are strong now. What? This, this doesn't make any sense. Heroes are the real enemies here, not the villains. This mayor is completely out of control, and I have to stop him. But I can't do this alone. I'm going to need some help. I don't really have anybody else to turn to. All right, here goes nothing. Kyle, what are you doing? First off, I'm really hurt by what you did earlier. Twisting that story on the news? Well, I did it because it was the truth. I'm not an awful person, Cindy. Oh, really? Well, you were a bad boyfriend. You never had time for me, ever. It was just superhero this, superhero that. What was I supposed to do? Listen, I know it was difficult, but I had to go out and save people. That's part of the job of being a hero. I saved your life a couple times, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and I appreciate it at the time, but it's over now. Look, there are people hunting you down. You probably shouldn't be here. Listen, Cindy, something is going on, okay? I I need your help. That's why I came here in the first place. Oh, you need my help. You weren't acting so nice to me earlier. What? When was I not nice to you? During the interview I was giving you earlier. What? You weren't being nice to me. You turned that whole story against me, Cindy. People listen to what you say, all right? And I need you to tell people that heroes aren't bad. Listen, I don't care. To be honest, I knew you were going to come here. That's why I called them. Who did you call, Cindy? Ow! Oh man, my head is killing me. What, what is going on here? Hello? Who's doing this? Where are you? Show yourself! Hope Wing, we finally meet face to face. Well, if it isn't the mayor, what do you want? Why are you causing all of this destruction? Why are you turning everybody against heroes? Well, isn't it obvious? I want to get reelected. And I can't do that if people are putting all their trust in these superheroes. I need them to trust me. You are the most untrustworthy person imaginable. Heroes are there to save people. Heroes are here to take all the fame and glory and leave only destruction behind. So what, you were behind everything? All of this is for your greed and your desire for power, fame, and glory? Yes, of course. It's all me. Impossible. I know there's somebody else behind this. There's no way you can do this on your own. Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because I've got you now. I don't think so. Oh. Wait, what? What is going on? You're right. I'm not the only person behind this. My boss would like to meet you. All right, this is where that robot mayor said to meet this guy. But where is he? And more importantly, who is he? Well, oh, thank you for meeting me here. <laughs> who are you? I am the strongest, most handsome, most rich man in all of Roblox. Wait a second. It's you. Oh, yes. Your memory come back now, yes? Your 
You're the one that gave me these powers. <laughs> yes, you were worst experiment. Such disappointment. I had all hope to make you the most evil villain alongside me. But your compassion is your undoing. You and I are not the same. No, we're not. And now it is time to say goodbye to your powers. Yeah, I don't think so. You're not going to stop me. And you're not going to stop any of the other heroes. We're here to protect people and fight for justice and righteousness. I'm never going to turn my back on the people of this town no matter what. You can try all you want to turn them against me, but that's not going to change anything. And I'm going to stop you. <laughs> you will try. You will fail. I don't think so. Oh! You can try and defeat me all you want. The people will hate you no matter what. My agents are everywhere, and you have no chance of stopping me. I don't care if the people of this town don't like me anymore. It's not about being liked. It's about doing what's right, and that is stopping you.